Hello, welcome to Culture Night 2023. I'm Joseph from Selbridge Piano. Over the next 20 to 30 minutes, I'm going to show you how to create your own music on the piano or on the keyboard. So you absolutely do not need any experience at all. Okay, so anyone can do this. So what you do need is a piano or a keyboard, preferably with a pedal. Okay, so let's get going. We start off by learning how to create your very own weather tune. So we learn to create sounds of thunder, lightning, rain, and calm. So let's get going. First of all, we're going to press the sustaining pedal. So if you have a digital piano or a piano, it will be the rightmost pedal. And if you don't have a sustaining pedal, that's absolutely all right. So to press the sustaining pedal, if you haven't done it before, what you want to do is make sure the heel of your foot is in contact with the floor and use the ball of your right foot to press the pedal. Okay, so this would be too far out. What you want to do is go in a bit more and, you know, wriggle up and down on the pedal. Have some fun. Imagine you're driving a car. All right. Uh, but for the weather tune, what we're going to do is we're just going to press it and hold it down for the rest of the tune. Now let's create some thunder sounds. Remember, keep your foot on the pedal pressed down, okay? And using your entire hands and palms, what you want to do is create some thunder sounds. <laughs> the lower sounds of the piano because thunder usually sounds very low and you might you know press one wait for a bit press again press again press again you can create thunder sounds as long as you like let's create some lightning what you want to do is start at the very top or the right hand side of the piano and using your hands glide down the keyboard so you can glide down the black keys or the white keys or you can do black, white, black, black have loads of fun doing and the thunder can be a short one or it can be a very long one it's totally up to you. Now let's create some rain. Choose any finger or the thumb of your left hand and any finger or the thumb of your right hand. Okay, in this case, I'm using my index fingers. I'm going to start off with this right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So you can press any black key. You can start from any black key. So Let's try this. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So that's a very gentle rain. And of course, you can, you know, create a rain, uh, which is like torrents of rain. Or it can be a treaser, a very mild rain. Now, create your own version of rain. Now, let's create the calm after the storm. So to do so, just use any finger, left hand or right hand, and press any black key. So in this instance, or you can press another black key, it doesn't matter. Create very long sustained sounds hold on to it. So I tend to just end with one black key and that's my calm. But for some of you, you might decide to, you know, press two long key notes or three long keys. That's fine. It really depends on what appeals to you, what you like. So create your own version of the calm after the storm. 
Now I'm going to show you my version of my weather tune. So I'm going to start with thunder and then lightning and then some rain and then calm and then I'll see what tickles my fancy. And then after that, create your very own version of weather tune. And you know what? Like your version of the weather tune can change day by day, week by week, or even uh, within the day. There's no right or wrong, remember. Just create something which makes sense to you. So here's my version of weather tune. The next tune we're going to create is called Sunrise. Have you seen the sunrise before? I think I had, although to be fair, I was a bit lazy to get up to see the sunrise, but maybe you've seen the sunrise before. So let's see how to create sunrise. Uh, but I'm going to show you how it sounds like first. sunrise you need to know the two keys which are F sharp and B for those of you who know how to play F sharp and B you can move on to the next section for those of you who have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about it's all right let's go through uh, the names of the keys so imagine there's a house there's a red house with three black keys and let me put this over the three black keys and at the front of the house, there's a front door. So this is the front door. Okay, a nice blue front door. So this is the front door key and F for front door. And at the back of this house, there's a back door which leads to the garden, a very nice garden. Okay, so this is the back door key, B for back door. All right, so make sure you can press F for front door and B for back door. Okay, so let's remove this house. And do you know where is F for front door? Where's the front door key or the F key? It would be this one. Because imagine this house with three black keys and this is the front door. Okay, and where would the back door be? The back door would be here. Okay, here's an extra challenge for you. If you can, close your eyes and find the front door key and the back door key. All right, but if you choose not to take the challenge, that's absolutely all right. Okay, so remember, this is the front door key and this is the back door key. And actually, there are loads of front door keys on your piano or keyboard. It doesn't have to be this one, it can be this one. So this one can be a front door key as well. So you might be asking me, oh, so which front door key should I be, you know, pressing? The answer is, it doesn't matter. Maybe a front door key that's in the meter of your piano or keyboard, okay? However, the back door key, I would like you to press the back door key that is below 
uh, this front door key. So whatever front door key you have chosen, press the back door key that is below the front door key. Okay. So what you want to do is, if this is front door, and if we move to the key that's to our right, this is called F sharp. So F for front door, and this will be F sharp. So I would like you to use your thumb and press F sharp. Okay, so let's look at the left hand now. So you're gonna press F sharp for four beats. One, two, three, four. Let's do it together and count along with me. One, two, three, four. Press again. One, two, three, four. And now, using your pinky, finger five, uh, which, which is this finger pinky, press B. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's really it. That's left hand. So now, let's play the entire left hand together. I'm going to put the front door and back door here. Okay. Ready, count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that is your left hand. And now let's look at our right hand. So what you want to do is you can choose uh, either your index finger or your third finger. So it's totally up to you which one you want to choose. Um, I would suggest maybe using the index finger. All right. So what you want to do is play this three black keys, any three black keys that are above your left hand. So what you want to do is just play. Can you do it? Yeah. Should be quite easy. And now let's add in some counting. What I would like you to do is to say one and not press anything. One. So let's say one together. One. And then after that, you say two, three, four. Watch me, please. One, two, three, four. Let's do it together a few times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, make sure you can do that. Once you can do it, let's put together both hands together. So what you want to do is, as with the weather tune, make sure the sustaining pedal or the rightmost pedal uh, is, press, is, is pressed down all the way. So watch, please. One, two, three, four. Press again. Two, three, four. Now B. One, two, three, four. Press again. One, two, three, four. That should be everything. One, two, three, four. everything twice and now let's end this tune to end this tune you go back to F sharp or the very first key press it and then right hand you can press nothing or anything I have students who have like pressed like just one black key which can be any black key or some of them did a glissando which is this some of them like that some of them did this It's really no right or wrong, you know, just press whatever tickles your fancy. So that is sunrise. So I just showed you how to create a basic version of sunrise. Now let's create your very own version of sunrise. As you know, the, the sun rises up in the sky. Um, so when we are when you are creating your own version of sunrise, what you want to do for the right hand is that you play any three notes or three black keys that are going up. So left hand remains the same. It's just the right hand that changes. So for example, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So instead of starting with this black key, I've started with this black key. So in fact, you can start on any black key. 
And you know, you can keep changing the black key that you start with. For example, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the keys are going up. Okay, now try it yourself. So here's another idea for you for the right hand. So instead of the keys going up consecutively, one after the other, what you can do is you can hop or skip over some keys. For example, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? And in fact, that's the version that I like. But ultimately, it's up to you. Create your own version of Sunrise. Here's one version for you. Now, create your very own version of Sunrise. So remember, play. you can play any black keys. There's no right or wrong, as long as the black keys are going up, just like the sun is rising up in the sky. Have fun. Now, let's see how to create music that expresses your feelings and moods. First thing first, uh, we need. I need you to be able to know uh, where is the key C. So if you do know where is C, you can move on to the next section. For those of you who are unsure which key is C, I'm going to show you how to find C or the cat key. So imagine another house which has two black keys. Okay. So in the middle of this house, which is between the two black keys, you, there lives a dog. This is a dog, yeah, and the dog lives in the middle. And this dog uh, in the same house lives a cat as well. And the cat, it's on the left of the dog. Okay, so this is the cat key or C key, dog key or D key. But for, you know, for, for the mood music, we're just going to use the C key. So make sure you can identify and press where is the C key, which is this one, or this one, right? So, what I would like you to do is use your pinky and put it on C, and make sure each finger has its own key, including the thumb, so, you know, so this will be incorrect because, you know, there's no key for the ring finger. So make sure each finger has its own um, key. And then bring your right hand, your thumb, onto the key, which is next to the left thumb. And make sure again, both fingers, uh, I mean, all fingers would have their own keys. So what I would like you to do is left hand press finger, press your pinky and your thumb down at the same time. You might need to do this a few times before you get the hang of it. That's okay. Try it. And do the same for the right hand as well. Press your thumb and pinky down at the same time. So once you're able to do that, what I would like you to do is to play left hand, right, left. Now, let's look at this uh, picture of different feelings. I'm going to start off with happy. So, think of something happy in your life, or think of a happy feeling, and then try to play on the piano. So for me, a happy sound would be... It's very 
bouncy, it's very quick, it's very jovial. And how do I create an angry sound? Let's try it. So there's more slamming of the keys possibly, uh, more forceful uh, playing uh, that's angry for me. And let's try a last one, sad. How do you create a sad sound? Maybe... So a sad sound, I guess, is very slow and quieter uh, in nature. Yeah. So try having, you know, lots of fun creating a feeling. Happy, angry, sad, or tired, feeling scared. Oh, how do you create a sad sound? Does that sound scared to you? So, um, it doesn't have to be today, but you know, whenever you feel like expressing yourself through music, through piano, you know, go to the piano or keyboard and create something that expresses how you feel. The next thing I'd like you to do is, instead of pressing both the pinky and the thumb down at the same time, I would like you to split them up. So what this means is press the pinky first, followed by the thumb, and then thumb, and then pinky. So you can do things like... So that's going up, and you can also go up and then down, look. And for some of you, you can even do more things. For example, you can play this together, together, and move your left hand over so that your pinky is next to the left hand pinky and make sure there's one finger per key and then do the same for the right hand as well all right let's do that again so that creates a very different sound again and what happens if we split out split up the notes Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? So you don't just have to go up, you can go up and then down. Let's listen to the sound of it. That sounds cool. What if I split up the notes? So as you can see, there's so many different ways to express your feelings. This is a very, very simple way of doing so. So I suggest that you, you know, think of a feeling or feel something and express it on the piano. So have loads of fun doing so. So I've showed you how to create your very own weather tune how to create your own sunrise um, and also how to express your feelings on the piano or keyboard. So I hope you had a fun time uh, doing so. Um, and I wish you a very happy Culture Night 2023.